They need a helping hand to guide along the way. The inner center, inspiring life. Yeah, I think the biggest uh, achievement for me was that first adoption I did. Uh, kind of just coming down to the case, really getting to know the family, kind of see the love they had for these kids and then just being there for them as they, you know, the judge signed the finalization paperwork, you know, did the name change and they're all sitting there bawling and, you know, as a man it's kind of hard not to sit there and not tear up so I was just sitting there fighting tears the whole time and I think eventually just kind of broke down and a few tears came out but just seeing that love and that joy for the family was pretty exceptional, my first adoption. So the process for adoptions, first you contact them, they say you'd like to be an adoptive parent, and then you just kind of meet with a social worker who's going to kind of do a home assessment, show the state why we think you'd be a great match for a child. I think the greatest need for Ennis Center is just foster parents. Uh, I really think just trying to find caring families that have a home and the love to give a child. And that's what Ennis is about. We don't give up on kids and we don't give up on families. Anyone can be a foster parent. Anyone that has love and compassion in their heart for a child. Um, it's giving us a call, participating in orientation, going through the classes, um, and then having a home inspection. The greatest need at Ennis Center for Children is loving foster homes for the children that have been abused and neglected. The Ennis Center Inspiring love